Alrighty, so uh, in this demonstration, we're going to run through one of the case studies that we have authored as part of the OpenRN project, and that is this acute heart failure case study. Um, this is a great example of where we have used the capabilities of H5P in order to simulate the uh, next generation NCLEX style of questions. Uh, so as I click on uh, the button here, you can see it says read, and that is because this is the interactive book uh, tool with an H5P. So I'll click on the read button and you'll see it brings us to the very first page of the book uh, where we've just provided some instructions to the learner of what they're going to be doing as well as the learning objectives uh, for this activity. And then on the left hand side you can see the navigation here where I can click through the different pages. So I can just progress sequentially through this book. So I'm going to move on to the handoff report. Um, one of the great things about the interactive book is that it can provide a media rich experience. And so in this case, we've got a, a video uh, that gives the handoff report to the learner. This is report for Hector Fernandez, a 62 year old male patient who was admitted earlier today from a skilled nursing facility for dehydration. And I'll just pause it there. But uh, again, that's that's a great benefit of not only just the format of the interactive book, but also our ability to bring in different types of media. And you'll see more of that uh, a little bit later. Uh, so now I can continue to progress through the book over here on the left. And next you can see where we provided some of the patient history. Um, and I can scroll down to go through these different sections, uh, the review of systems, uh, the physical examination, the assessment plan. So all of this is information that obviously the student is gonna be referencing uh, when it comes time to uh, the questions in this case study. Uh, I'll keep progressing through. Next we have the provider orders. Uh, we did our best to uh, simulate uh, the way that this information would look uh, for the student in other platforms. Uh, and so H5P did a great job of allowing us to do that, to make it look the way that they will see it uh, elsewhere. Uh, here you can see the vital signs for the patient, laboratory results, diagnostic results, medications. And now we finally get to our first question set uh, in this case study. So question set one, and now you can start to see uh, the first examples of where we have created these next generation uh, NCLEX style questions. So this first one is a drag and drop question and asks, what are the top three clinical concerns requiring nurse follow-up after receiving the handoff report. And so the student can drag these different options in uh, to indicate what they feel are the top three clinical concerns. So this is a really great critical thinking activity. And of course, this is helping to prepare them for what they're likely to see uh, in the NCLEX. Uh, another, another nice thing about this tool is that I can start answering a question and then actually flip back to check uh, some information and then go back to the question set and my, uh, my choices don't reset. And that's great uh, for the learner. And uh, another thing I'll point out is that uh, this tool does award partial credit. Um, and so if I were to do, let's do two correct answers. Let's do one wrong answer. Um, and I'm going to neglect to choose one of the correct answers here. If I hit check, you can see that I got a score of one out of three. Um, and the reason is that, well, I got two correct answers. I got one, I chose one wrong answer, and then I failed to choose another correct answer. Hence the reason I got a one out of three. Um, and we can preload the feedback here, and you're gonna see that in a moment. Uh, I'm going to click on retry. This time I will choose all of the correct answers and hit check. And then you can see I, it indicates I got the correct answer and also gives me a little bit of rationale. Um, and that's all customizable, which is really nice. Um, down below you can see another example of a drag and drop. This time we're indicating uh, which uh, uh, vital signs and characteristics are worsening, not changing or improving. Um, so again, I can uh, just drag these answers in and you will see, I can check and see that I got the correct answer there. 
Um, so a lot of flexibility uh, with this tool for us to author these case studies. Um, this page here is an example of where we've mixed both questions along with information and in this case, a video of the patient. Okay, um, and so you can do a lot of mix and matching uh, with the different uh, pieces of content uh, within this tool, which is really, really nice. Um, and so now you can see uh, different types of questions that we've mixed in. Here we got a simple multiple choice question. Uh, here we have a question, the client is at, high, is at highest risk for developing which of the following conditions? And so the student can choose which ones they feel are appropriate. Um, drag and drop the priority actions to take at this time. Again, uh, 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 simulating some of those critical thinking tasks that the students are likely to face uh, in the NCLEX. Okay, so again, just a lot of a lot of uh, great uh, uh, tools here to to build out those experiences for learners. I'll progress just a little bit further so you can see a few more pieces of this experience. Um, here you can see where we've gotten some new uh, orders, uh, some chest x-ray results. Uh, so, so basically providing additional supplemental uh, information uh, to kind of further along the process of caring for this patient. And so the learners provided that information and now uh, once again, they're provided uh, some more questions to answer this time uh, we have a few multiple answer questions, uh, a few more multiple choice, and some more drag and drop. Um, so uh, this has been a fantastic tool for us to build these sort of sorts of experiences. And um, we uh, another you know huge benefit of us utilizing this tool is just that uh, we are able to share these experiences with other people, and then they can leverage H5P to take the content we've built and remix it, take it and change it up if they want to change some of the information about the patient or they wanna add additional questions or whatever the case may be. They can absolutely do that. And so uh, it's been a great tool for us to use and we're excited to leverage it uh, even more in the future.